Daily News. What? A Southern California woman behind bars is accused of cutting off her husband's penis. Police say the woman poisoned her husband's meal, tied him to the bed, and severed his groin area. She then threw it into the garbage disposal and turned the disposal on. The wife called 911 and told authorities what happened, saying he deserved it. The couple is reportedly going through a divorce, and the husband is in serious condition. When the officers went in there, they found the husband tied to the bed and bleeding profusely from the groin area. Uh, the officers immediately called for paramedics, untied the victim from the bed. Uh, the wife at that time made the spontaneous statement that he deserved it. And when they looked at his groin area, they saw that uh, his uh, penis had been cut off by uh, presumably the wife. Really? Last week, a woman named Catherine Becker cut off her husband's penis with a knife. What the fuck? That's not something that's done. No matter what a guy would do, that is just not done. See, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. We men are no saints. But that doesn't give you a fucking excuse to fucking grab a pair of scissors and be like snip 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 snip. That is bullshit. We all know that already. See, look, I know we've done pretty fucked up shit. So have you. You have no reason to be fucking cutting off our fucking shit, alright? Look, I know you women talk about it, but come on, that's not actually something you do. It's like us guys, you know. We always say you gotta smack your bitch and keep her in place. But when a guy actually does it, we don't applaud him. Okay? I've seen you women applaud this stupid bitch. We men would shun the guy and call him a pussy for hitting a woman, rather than applaud him. Even though we say that it's a good thing to smack him up and keep him in place. Oh, and to add insult to injury, this fucking bitch has the gall to not only get that shit cut off, but she fucking throws it in the garbage disposal. The fuck? So basically, this bitch ends up poisoning him or putting something in his food. He notices it's not right, knocks out. Next you know, wakes up, huh? And all because of a fucking divorce. Really. Y you've gotta be shitting me. Women here these days are getting crazier and crazier. I've dealt with my own share of psychotic women, but this one takes the cake. No, 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 not the cake. The freaking bakery. This bitch has the gall to say that he deserved it. No one deserves that kind of bullshit. It's like saying, okay, I beat the crap out of my ex-girlfriend because she deserved it. No, see, that is not, I repeat, not a liable excuse. No one deserves that kind of fucked up shit. I don't know what's more infuriating. The fact that this stupid ass bitch actually had the nerve to do that? Or the fact that the other stupid women are applauding it? Well, actually the majority of them anyway. Well, I'm glad at least uh, in an event as tragic and as horrible as this, someone could actually find the time to uh, make a little joke about it, which was pretty funny. I kind of shit myself laughing, but let's look it up right here. It says, there once was a woman named Becker who chopped her husband's pecker. She wiped her chin and said with a grin, what would it look like in a blender? <laughs> and this is by an uh, Atlas Dedic. Let me know down below in the comments section, what are your thoughts on this crazy, crazy psychotic woman? And also, don't forget to subscribe right there to the little tiny button, that silver lining right there. For my other videos, this is Miguel Rodriguez. These are my two cents. 
Just kidding.